pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Great submission skills and tremendous power in his hands. I'm so excited to see the last ever. And when you talk about the Mount Rushmore of MMA, a lot of the professional fighters reserve a spot for this man, Fedor Emelianenko. We'll see how it goes for him in the octagon tonight. inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, the Iceman, Chuck Lowe. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Hey! So Herb Dean, third Ready man fight. in there for this one. Ready. Good. Round one. The last emperor, Fedor Emelianenko. I get a little bit anxious when this man fights. A lot of us never thought this day would come. Fedor Emelianenko in the UFC. And he talked a lot about wrestling this week. Certainly he believes if this was a kickboxing match contested on the feet, he could win it and would. But he wants to get this wrestling game going. And when it comes to that Emelianenko, top pressure. Not a man you want to be fighting off of your back against. Pretty good jab there by Emelianenko. Oh, straight punch. His misses are entertaining. Oh, nice punch there by Fader. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you got to be careful. Midway through round one. Oh, oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. 
this striker has come out swinging, and he's a very aggressive guy, but you got to be careful, I would think, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you got to slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can secure finish on his feet before he can take it down to his back. But ideally for him, he wants to be knocking guys out. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. fabor has got a cut on the forehead. Yes, he's bleeding now. So some work for the cut man in between rounds if we get there. And he caught the kick. Nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. So the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Second round here. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Misses with the right hand. And that one certainly found the target. Whiffs on that offering. Liddell's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. And a miss with the right hook. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh! Was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer now has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Avon! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.